You've just built an awesome go high level dashboard that tells exactly how many leads you've got, how many revenue you've generated and how many appointments you have, right? Yet you still get calls like, hey, Mark, how many appointments we got this week? Well, we've all been there. You have dashboards, but nobody looks at it, right? Now I'm going to show you how to solve that problem, how to create a custom automated report that gets sent to the client's email every week or month, and you can have all the desired data in it because we all know that our clients usually like to look at their emails, right? So let's jump in straight to our Go Level account and I'll show you how to set it up. All right, so I'm in my Go High Level sub account and as you can see, I'm in the dashboard area and I already have an appointment dashboard which tells exactly how many confirmed appointments we've got, we have showed, canceled, and no-shows, right? Now, of course, this information is only available to the person if they actually log into the system and see it, right? And what we want is to send all of this information and schedule it to our client's email or maybe to your team if they want to see these insights. And we want to do that with a custom report. So what we have to do now is head over to the left menu here, and then we're going to click on reporting. And once you do that, you will see an option of custom reports. And this is the one we will be using in this video. Now we will click on new report here, and then you'll get three options. So the number one is create a blank report. Of course, this is where we start from scratch. And then we have some more options coming up, which is the template library or cloning an existing report and just making changes in that, right? So we have these three options, but I'm going to use this option that I really like because I already built a dashboard in this account and I don't want to start from scratch, right? So what will I do? I'll click on here and I'll select the appointment dashboard. Now this is the exact go high level dashboard that I already showed you in the start of the video. So what I want is I want to have that in my custom report and then I can add some more data to it before we send or schedule it, right? So let's choose that. It will save us time and the effort that we've already put in. And I'm going to click on import. So this will take a few seconds and it will generate the custom report. Now we have a few things and you can see on the left side, we have a page list. So we have a cover page, then we have three untitled pages, which we can sort out later. So the cover page looks really simple here. If you want to customize it, it's really easy. All you have to do is on the right side, click on page properties and you can put in your logo here. So let's upload one here. So I'm going to paste the URL for my logo here. And then we have some more options like show the title or the date that shows up here. Or do you want to show the cover page or not, right? If you want to keep things simple and straightforward, you can do it this way as well. I do like this approach because it has a logo in there and it does have all of these details. So I don't want to do a cover page. I want to be to the point and that helps the clients as well, right? So you can see all that information we had in our Go Hello dashboard is reflecting here. So that means we have to spend less time doing everything. So now if you want to add some more stuff to it, you can easily do that. Number one, we have the add widget or element option here. So this is just like building a dashboard because it's essentially the same thing. The only difference is that we are creating it as a report that we can send or schedule, which we cannot do with the dashboards, right? So if you want to add some more information, let's say visitor data, you can actually click on that and it will add that here. And then you can see all of the information that I already had from my dashboard. It's very extensive, of course. So if I want to add any of these widgets from here, I can do that exactly the way we do it in dashboards. And then we also have elements here that you can add to your custom report, like embedding a link or a custom code. And you can also add in an image or a text box. And if you want to add something like this, you can click here and it will open up some options. You can define the title type. Do you want to keep it to current date, report name, or custom text? Of course, if you do custom text, you can actually customize it and you can put in anything here. So we can say performance metrics by XYZ company. You can, of course, customize it to your liking. You can also change the text or the background color or align it as you wish. And once you hit on save, it will create that element right here. And now if you want to drag it and place it into a better position, you can actually do that. So that is completely up to you. Let me just put it all the way up here and you can see we can customize it. We'll just put this down and then I'll just bring it right here. So you can see we have some customization available here and you can add in more elements if you wish to. So let's say this is the final outlook for our report here. Before we move to send or schedule, we will define the date range here. So I would like to do last seven days. So we have the latest information in this and you can call it, or in this case, it will make more sense to say appointment report and we can say last seven days, right? So once we have that dialed in, we can export it if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead, click on save first to make sure everything is saved. And then before we move on, I'm just going to make sure my page list is updated. So we're going to rename this. The first one says 
the appointment stats so we can name it that way confirm it and then let's say on the second page i have a breakdown of appointments so we can name it that way and for the last one i'm going to say customer stats as that makes more sense for my report in this sub account so now i have my pages sorted out we also have one more setting here which is the permissions so if you want to make this a private report you can enable this this is enabled by default because it won't be visible to the other team members in your account right so if you want to keep it that way that's up to you you can click on save here once you're happy with this setting and now we're going to move on to the final step which is send or schedule so let's click on that and now we will see the scheduling options so for scheduling frequency let's do weekly here as that makes more sense and then we have to choose a day so i want to do mondays at 10 a.m that's fine and then for the day trains you can see the last seven days is already dialed in as i'm doing the report for that so make sure you select it based on your use case if you're doing monthly reports you'll select the month one I'm doing the last seven days with the weekly report. So that's why I'm going to go with last seven days. And then you can also do a comparison date range because in the report you saw that right under the numbers, we do see a comparison. So if you want to do that, you can keep it to previous seven days or the year before, or you could do no comparison if you don't want to show that at all. Then we have to do the from email, which I already have mine here. Subject line will be appointment report last seven days. And then you can also put in your company name here. And then the last steps, we have the recipients too. So this is where you will select your client or if you're sending it to your team members, you can actually select that from here. This is the users list from the sub account. So you can select as many people if you wish. And the last we have the message here. So you can put in something like, this is the report of the appointments for the last seven days by the XYZ company. So this is optional. You can choose whatever you like here. And then finally, before hitting the save and schedule, I highly advise that you send a test email to see how it will appear like. And once you're happy with this, you can go ahead to the next step, click on this blue button here, and now your customer report is scheduled and ready to go as per the schedule. And once all is done, if you head over to customer reports here again, you will see your report here. You can also see the schedule frequency. And if you click on the actions here, you can manage the permissions or you can duplicate this report to another account so you can save a ton of time there as well. That was about this video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. This is Osama signing off. I'll see you in the next one.